Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ancient Cities Indiegogo page with some good news. They have reached their first goal with 26,977 euros. Now, what does this get us? The Neolithic Middle East has been unlocked. Yes, this means that all Kickstarter and Indiegogo backers with unlocked expansions reward will get this one too when available. Neolithic Middle East will explore the true origins of cities and Neolithic Revolution, the place and time where the civilization as we know it sparked for the first time. Even if it is still a bit far away, we are sure that sh we are sure that will be an, an amazing travel to do with you all. Not the best English, but it's alright. I'm sure they'll do fine. The next goal is to approach to easy modding the game. The game will support loading custom height maps. This is the first step to recreate real world locations. Yet, it is not a full terrain editor. That goal is still hidden. It is the first step in that direction. So, let's go back to story and check this out. So we got Neolithic Atlantic, we got Ice Age, we got the Fluid Dynamics, the DRM free platform, Neolithic Middle East just unlocked. Next at 30,000 euros will be the user terrain, then more biomes for Europe at 50,000, rent a small office for the developers at 70,000, 80,000 sea and coastal cities, improving fluids and depict seas with waves and tides that will let you bring to the game gorgeous coastal cities. I would love to see that. Then at an undisclosed amount, is Bronze Age Atlantic Europe, Bronze Age Mesopotamia, and one of these two is more modding tools. That is great, I am glad this is still going. This back has still has 21 days left, and they have a flexible goal. Well, that brings to a close this little mini update for the Ancient Cities progress. As always, if you'd like to see and you want to keep up to date on Ancient Cities news, make sure to like and subscribe. And also, if you want to contact me about this, go and check my Discord channel and Twitter. Links in the description. Thank you for watching.